Good morning, John. So a weird thing about modern life is that I can certainly forget what happened to me two weeks ago, but Google never will. So, because I can, let's go back through my top 22 most recent questions that I asked Google, starting with the where's. So I was actually curious about where World War II soldiers pooped when they were in cities. Like, did people let them in their homes, or did they go to the cinema or something, or just poop in the gutter? What did they do? But I found no information about that. I just found a lot of pictures of dudes pooping in trenches, which was looked awful. Looked very bad. The nitrogen in the atmosphere came from geological processes in the Earth, and then it's pretty heavy and stable, so it sticks around for a really long time. That's why there's so much of it. And the lunar landers turned out to be really interesting. The landers, they would launch, and then they would take back off and reconnect with the command module, and then be jettisoned. And almost all of them were crashed into the moon to do seismic experiments. Except for Apollo 13, which was used as a lifeboat, and then they crashed it into Earth's atmosphere. And Apollo 10, the mission before the one that landed on the moon, the one that just flew around the moon, they actually jettisoned that lunar module, and it went into solar orbit. So it is currently out there. We could go get it. It's just in space. Now for some what's. This first one is just me trying to figure out why, when, where, and what can be answered with then, there, and that, which just, it can't be a coincidence. And I'm getting closer to the answer to this question. I'm not quite there yet. A pine cone turns out to just be a pine cone. I thought maybe it was analogous to some other structure. It's really not. It is a conifer cone is a conifer cone. That's what it is. It's an organ of a plant. But interestingly, physiologically, there's little uh, pollen things on conifers are actually pine cones. Is physiology something you can apply to plants? I don't know if that's just an animal thing. I can Google it. Okay, I typed in is, and I didn't think about using is. But the first one was, is a puzzle a story? Which is a wonderful question, and I don't remember asking it. And also, is aphid honeydew edible? But yeah, plant physiology is definitely a thing. Uh, and now it's the 25 most recent questions I asked to Google. The oil lamps that Romans used were the ones that sort of looked like genie lamps, except they were made out of clay, and there'd be a wick in there, and it would wick the oil up, and you could light that on fire. And the oil they used was olive oil. Neat! More what's? Protons taste like sour. Cicadas eat tree sap, but not the sticky kind you're probably imagining, the really liquid, fluid kind that's just the water that travels up to the leaves. And what is college? Like, I don't know, but I think we should be asking the question. Who? We only got one who. Who recorded the first noise? And you might think that that was Thomas Edison. It kind of was. Technically, the first audio recording was not replayable. It was the pressure wave of noise being transferred into a waveform. Edouard Leon Scott de Martinville. I don't do French. Developed a device that could turn sound into an image. And actually, very recently, for the first time, we were able to turn that waveform back into an audio file. And here it is. <laughs> I do not like that. Whys! Honestly, I am still completely dumbfounded by all three of these. Hows! Always asking questions about the structure of the online media ecosystem. Phone gyroscopes continue to baffle me. And yes, we are now at the point where I have no idea how long we have been in this current situation. Oh, there's this. Catherine thinks that Googling things about Animal Crossing taints the experience, so I have to sort of be quietly Googling and then be like, well, I should try this. And finally, just because I guess there needs to be an end to this video, John, I would like to present to you a poem. When did Luke Perry die? When doves cry? When would the moon crash into the earth? John, I'll see you on Tuesday. Wait! Another question has appeared! How much money has the Awesome Socks Club raised? Well, John, Google doesn't know the answer to that question, but I do over $600,000. And remarkably, that is just a side effect of this dang amazing service that will send you a pair of socks designed by a different independent artist every single month. They are lovely, high quality socks that I wear now almost exclusively. And right now, subscriptions are open, but only for a limited time, at awesomesocks.club.